How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. With the Attack on Titan anime coming to an end, I thought it would be a good idea to attempt to speedrun all of Attack on Titan in 10 minutes or less. Shout out to the Amagi for inspiration for this video. I shouldn't even have to say this, but obviously, spoiler alert. As always guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let's crack on. Ymir, a slave of the Eldian tribe, obtains the power of the Titans from an unknown anomaly, transforming her into the first founding Titan. The king of the Eldians, pleased with her work, takes her to bear his children and uses her for military endeavors. Ymir sacrifices herself to save the Eldian king from an assassination attempt. Ymir chooses to succumb to her wound and dies. The king then feeds Ymir's corpse to his three daughters, Sheena, Rose, and Maria, in order for them to inherit Ymir's power. Ymir's furret's consciousness resides in the paths after her death, a timeless dimension where she crafts Titans out of sand and carries out the wishes of the royal family through the powers of the founding Titan. Ymir's daughters pass their powers down to their grandchildren until the eventual creation of the nine Titan Shifters. Approximately 2,000 years later, Marley sends out the Eldian Titan warriors Reiner, Borhold, Annie, and Marcel to commence the Paradis Island operation to recover the founding Titan. On Island Paradis, Grisha promises that he will show Aaron the secrets that lie within the basement of their home. Marcel is eaten upon landing on Island Paradis. The warriors head to Walmaria, where Berthold as the Colossal Titan destroys the outer gates of the Shinganshima district allowing hundreds of titans to invade the walls. Dinah Fritz, pure titan, enters the city and eats Eren's mother, Carla, in front of him. Grisha travels to the Reese Chapel and begs the Reese family to use the founding titan to save them from the titan invasion. He defeats Frida's titan, claiming the founder. He then takes Eren into the forest where he passes on the founding and attack titans to him. Holt, as the colossal titan, breaches the outer trost district, causing a titan invasion for the first time in five years. Eren is eaten by a titan in front of his friend Aramin, where he emerges in his first attack titan form and begins to destroy the titans throughout the city. Eren Eren, for the first time, uses his titan powers consciously as he creates a titan skeleton to protect himself, Mikasa, and Aramin from a cannonball. Eren is being held on trial before a military tribunal where he is released into the custody of the Survey Corps. The Corps embark on the 57th expedition outside the wall when they are attacked by Annie as the female titan. Commander Erwin corners her in a forest where the Corps uses restraining equipment to capture her until she escapes. Eren and Annie fight within the forest until Annie defeats and kidnaps him. Before she can take Eren, Mikasa and Levi arrive to rescue him. Later, the Survey Corps attempt to secretly capture Annie, but she transforms into the female titan. After failing to escape the walls, Annie encases herself in crystal so as to avoid capture. Zeke Eger invades while Rose is the Bee Titan and uses his abilities to turn residents of Rigako into Titans under his control. Ymir transformed into a Titan to protect the Survey Corps recruit. Berthold and Reiner reveal to Eren their Titan forms and transform. After a battle, Reiner and Berthold capture Ymir and Eren. While attempting to flee with Eren and Ymir, they are intercepted by the Survey Corps, who manage to rescue Eren. The Smiling Titan, aka Dinah Fritz's pure Titan, appears in front of Eren and Mikasa. Eren unknowingly unleashes the power of the Founding Titan after making contact with the Smiling Titan. Reiner, Berthold, and Ymir retreat the Shinashina district. Commander Erwin and General Pixis plot against the royal government while Levi convinces Historia to agree to become queen. Kenny Ackerman ambushes squad Levi and a battle ensues. Erwin is brought before the king where he is ordered to be executed. Before it is too late, Darius Zackley intervenes, dethroning King Fritz. Eren comes to in a cave below Race Chapel. Historia and Rod place their hands on his back, triggering Eren's memory of his father's final moments. Levi's squad arrives at the Rice Chapel to save Eren when a battle ensues with Kenny Ackerman's squad. Rod Rice, in a moment of desperation, drinks the Titan Serum, transforming into a giant pure Titan. With the combined efforts of Eren and the garrison of soldiers, squad Levi managed to defeat Rice's Titan, with Historia landing the final blow. Levi finds Kenny Ackerman dying outside the city, where he reveals he is Levi's uncle and gives him a vial of Titan Serum he stole from Rod before he dies. Historia is crowned Queen of the Walls, Zeke has arrived in the Shinganshima district where he is reunited with Berthold and Reiner, Erwin leads over 100 members of the Survey Corps on an expedition to the Shinhashina district, Eren uses his hardening powers to seal the branch in the outer gate created by Reiner and Berthold, Zeke, with his Titan army, traps the Survey Corps within the Shinhashina district, Eren and Reiner do battle in their Titan forms, while the Beast Titan bombards the soldiers. Erwin, in desperation, leads a charge against his enemies as a distraction for Levi to kill Zeke. Levi defeats the Beast Titan, removing Zeke from its nape, Peak as the Jaw Titan rescues Zeke, Armin sacrifices himself in order to cause a distraction so Eren can defeat the Colossal Titan, cutting Berthold from its nape. Armin and Erwin are both found alive but in critical condition. After much discussion, Levi decides it will be Armin who will be saved by giving him the Titan Serum. Armin in his pure Titan form eats Berthold, giving him access to the Colossal Titan, while Erwin Smith dies. Eren finally investigates the basement of his household with members of the squad Levi. There they discover three books left by Grisha Yeber, which reveal life beyond the walls. The Survey Corps sets out beyond the Wall Maria until they reach the ocean. Sometime later, Marley sends out their first scout fleets to Island Paradise where it is intercepted by Eren and the Survey Corps. The anti-Marleyan volunteer squads on board defect to the wall's side. Marley's war with the Middle Eastern Allied forces comes to climax at Fort Salva. Marley claims victory after a full sight and assault, causing an end to the Marleyan Mid-Eastern War. Eren infiltrates Marley under the guise of a wounded soldier, Eren Kruger. 
The Tiber family come to an internment zone to prepare for an upcoming festival where ambassadors from the world will be invited. On the evening of the festival, Falco brings Reiner to meet with Aaron in a basement beneath the stage. Lily Tiber declares war on Island Parodies. As he does so, Aaron bursts through the stage, eating him in his Attack Titan form. Aaron proceeds to kill hundreds of innocent and military personnel alike. Lily's younger sister transforms into the Warhammer Titan and attacks Aaron with her powers. The Survey Corps arrive to aid Aaron, followed shortly by the Beast, Cart, and Jaw Titans. Armin uses the Colossal Titan to destroy Marley's navy. Levi defeats the Beast Titan, while Aaron uses the Jaw Titan's jaw to break the hardened crystal encasing Laura Tiber. Aaron eats her, inheriting the Warhammer Titan's abilities. The Survey Corps escape on their airship, but is boarded by Marley and Warrior candidates Gabby and Falco. Gabby shoots and kills Sasa, and they're taken prisoner. Once they arrive on the island, Aaron is arrested and placed in a cell. Zeke is also arrested and taken to a giant forest where Levi and his team guard him. A group of Survey Corps recruits plant a bomb to kill Darius Zackley, while Aaron uses his Titan powers to escape the cell. Peek infiltrates the wall once again. Zeke is, is captured by Levi after he attempted to escape by transforming Levi's soldiers into Titans because they drink wine containing Zeke's spinal fluid. As Levi takes Zeke back to the wall, Zeke detonates a Thunder Spear with himself and Levi caught in the blast. Zeke is saved by a pure Titan who stuffs him into its belly while Ymir Fritz rebuilds his body in the Path's realm. Peek and Gabby are taken to the roof by Aaron where Peek will point out Aaron's enemies. When the Jaw Titan emerges from beneath the ground, biting Aaron's legs as part of a surprise attack by Marley. Aaron transforms into the Attack Titan to defend against the attack on Paradise Island. The Jaw and Armor Titans engage Aaron in combat amongst the city. Onya Capone releases the imprisoned Survey Corps members in the hopes they will aid Aaron. Zeke arrives on the wall, providing support to Aaron from above. He destroys Marley's airships while running down rocks on the Jaw and Armor Titan. Aaron makes his way to his brothers so they can touch and enact the powers of the Founding Titan. In a surprise attack, the Beast Titan is wounded by Theo Magath on an anti-artillery Titan gun. Cole tries to prevent Zeke from screaming as Falco drinks the wine containing his spinal fluid. Zeke, unperturbed, screams, transforming everyone who drank the wine into pure titans. Aaron leaves his titan form, running on foot towards Zeke. Gabby shoots Aaron with an anti-titan rifle, decapitating him. Aaron's head falls into Zeke's hands where they are both transported to the conduit within the past realm. Inside the past, Zeke takes Aaron through Grisha's memories in an attempt to convince Aaron they should euthanize the Eldians. Aaron convinces Ymir to give him the powers of the Founder and all of the walls start to crumble in the Shinohashina district, releasing the Wall Titans. Aaron transforms into his Founding Titan form, initiating the rumbling. Aaron uses the powers of the Founding Titan to telepathically tell all Eldians across the world he will destroy the world in order to save them. During this time, Annie Leonhardt is set free from her hardened crystal. Gabby goes out to save Falco, while Hanji and Levi meet with Theo Magath and convince him to team up to defeat Aaron. In the Trost district, Falco, Gabby, Armin, and Connie find Annie, who agrees to help them. Next, they go and recruit a wounded Reinar. The grumbling reaches Marley and begins to destroy the entire world. Here, Flocus reveals he had been hiding on the boat and shoots its fuel tank in an attempt to leave it stranded. The Casa deploys one of her ODM gear anchors, which pierces Floak through the throat, killing him. The Alliance manages to escape Odiha as Aaron is arriving with his Colossal Titans. As Haji stays behind to buy them time, ending in her death, Aaron summons his friends into the past where he tells them his true intentions to save Island Parodies. As the Alliance reaches the Founding Titan, Aaron summons all former Titan shifters to protect him. A battle ensues and the soldiers manage to blow Aaron's neck, where Aaron's head transforms again into a new Colossal Titan form. Aaron and Armin in their Colossal Titan forms engage in combat. Aaron is defeated but immobilizes Aaron long enough so Mikasa can enter his mouth, severing Aaron's head that resided there. Mikasa and Armin decide to bury Aaron's head at the foot of the tree Aaron liked to nap under. Later in life, Mikasa gets married and has a child, as Aaron's last wish to her was for her to move on from him. Mikasa passes away from old age, still wearing the scarf Aaron gave her as a child. Years later, the island is attacked and decimated by war. Sometime later, an unknown boy finds the tree Aaron's head was beneath, in a scene that parallels Ymir's awakening of the Titan Thowers. And time! And that was it. What do you think of our speedrunning attack on Titan? Pretty good time, eh? Let me know in the comments down below parts that I missed. Obviously, we couldn't cover everything, but I felt like we really hit all the broad plot points throughout the whole entire series. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. What do you think of the ending of Attack on Titan? More AOT content on the way. Check out some of our other videos, like why this video will change how you view Attack on Titan, how Attack on Titan is basically the Game of Thrones of anime, and why so many anime endings suck. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. If, again, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It does help the channel immensely. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Stay safe out there. Peace, love. Adu.